script. So my name is Kipriano Kipriano. Uh, I'm from SmartLine. I'm the CEO of the company and the chief instructor. Um, uh, I'm here uh, because you asked me to come. So and actually we have a very, very good relationship with NCB for many, many years. Uh, and I'm very glad that we have somebody that was here uh, nine years ago. Right? So um, now, look at this. Who is gonna? Who can tell? This is a new thing, right? So let's suppose now that we go up. What do you think that's happening? Is it positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Purely positive. And then from here we have some big black candlesticks coming like this, coming up to here. What is this? Is it a failure swing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What is a failure swing? Remember, a failure swing. A failure swing should be uh, as we go up. Go higher. Look at this. A bottom, a top that is okay. failing to go high. This is not a not breaking a bottom from the outside, right? So the failure swing should be this one, breaking the bottom, the first bottom of the downtrend. This is a bottom of the uptrend. You see, up to here is an uptrend. So it's totally different than this one, right? So here is going down with black up to here, let's say, and then I have some white. Why and then black to move to the top. This one is all they're all black. And breaking this bottom. It's a correction, I think. Is it a downtrend? A failure swing at least? It's no, not failure. No. No. So is it positive or negative? It's a down arrow with a question mark. Negative. Negative. Uh, close. Is, is it mostly positive or mostly negative? Mostly, mostly negative. negative. Mostly negative. Yeah, positive. Are you sure? Go ahead, come, come. Positive. Positive. Because that's a trend. And here I don't even have a failure swing that is a starting point of a downtrend. So if I want to put an arrow, what kind of arrow can I have uh, to get? Uh, up with the one. one. Bravo. Uh, yep. Yes. But this is look like it's worse than the failure swing. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why. That's why. Uh, you are a trader. That's why. So yeah. do you know what's going to happen here if you see the money, the market? If you see the market collapsing from there, we have to tie you down. Not to press the enter to short. Do you understand what I mean? It's so severe and so stressy yeah. and so uh, panicked. Thing. Yeah, of course, if you see a, My God. a full black yeah. candlestick, what are you going to do? You're going to sell. You're going to sell. You're going to sell. Of course. If I have long position, I have to sell. Okay. So, what's happening when we have this severe movement down? <coughs> what happened? What's happening in the market? Banking. Big banking. Honey, right? But uh, you know, how how is the psychology of those guys that they are making money from here, here, here? They're starting to sweat. They start, yeah, that's right. I, I agree, but they are making money. Yeah. They're still making money. Uh -huh. Is but this yeah. affecting them no. positively? No, negatively, because they're losing some of the profit they made it, you know, from the top. Okay. Now let's talk about somebody that knows about trends. Gonna say, what the hell is going? I don't mind. First of all, I still make money, yeah. and this is a panic thing that I don't follow the panic, right? And then you stand, you you, you make a step back, and you say, okay, let's see. I'm not like, a, oh my god, I'm losing money because if they are here, those guys that they were buying, right? So most probably I'm gonna be panicked. That's why you have this movement, yeah, right, for the panic guys, right? But when you will see today, when I'm going to have this severe movement, this is followed by a severe movement up. At least up to 61.8%. This is the Fibonacci. Do you understand? Fibonacci now. You just came here to learn about technical analysis. Are we okay? So we have three days course, four hours per day, and you are not allowed to escape. Right? So as soon as you are going to feel that you have something that you don't understand and you want to leave the classroom, just ask. Okay? Is that an agreement? How can you convince the client not to sell everything now? What do you want to say? How can you cut down a guy that wants to sell anyway? What's your time frame? Uh, we said you don't measure the word time frame. Right? So you ask him since when you have them. Yeah. Since 2005. And why now, my friend? 
why you did not sell at 15, 10, 12, and you want to sell now, right? So how can you go busy, right? So, so not to sell, because it's very important this part, for the sales, at least for the client. You have to communicate with him. And when you communicate, you don't mention things that he doesn't know. You don't talk about P ratios, because you never know if he knows or not. You don't mention anything about the king and about the, let's say, the, I don't know what else you can mention, right? But let's wait to see if will be a bounce up, and if will be a bounce, and then it's coming to break it again, measure some numbers, right? <coughs> measure numbers, not words that doesn't know. So let's suppose that was on the 4,000. Remember what happened at 10? Right? The market bounced up to 13, you remember it? Depends how long the guy is in the market, right? Remember what happened to the, to the 7 that bounced up up to 8.5? 8,500, I think. So, hey, now maybe from 4,000 it's going to bounce up 1,000 points. Why do you want to sell now? But if it's going to break the 4,000 to go lower, then you have to sell. Is it correct? Is it technical analysis this? It's purely technical analysis, right? So that's why you say that if it's going to break the bottom to go lower, then we have to sell anyway. But trust me, you have to convince him to sell here. But it's, a, it's another story. But now, he shouldn't sell. Because the client is calling when there is a potential to go up. Right? Always. And always, they want to sell when the market, so okay. they want to buy when the, the market is hitting the tops. You understand what I mean? So when the market is going up, and they have the negative divergence, this one, or another thing that I will tell you in a minute. So when you see this one, expecting a failure swing, so the client is calling you and said, I have uh, a couple of millions, can I buy? How can you convince him not to buy now? You understand what I mean? It's a, it's a very serious job, this one, that we are doing. You have the information now, but you have to be careful when you are talking with him. So now I need a volunteer to put the lines. Right. It's a weekly. Sit down, do anything you want on this computer, and show us where you're going to put the lines. As I can see, if I go back up to here, so this one was a top, definitely a big one. So this one was a correction, OK? So that was a correction, of course. That was a good one. Right? So that's it. So actually, you put the line at the levels that can lead to a correction. That's correct. Right. Let's use now the green. Uh, so, uh, Tell me. I have learned the basic rules of the technical analysis and the right one. So I can shut down the crazy mind. And uh, I think uh, I've learned new things, the time frame, which I've been using wrong. All right. That's me. That's very, really very good. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, the best thing I get from this lecture is, uh, number one, I think is how to deliver a message to a customer or a client, which how to tell him when to get in, when to get out of the market. And the uh, second important thing is the failure, sw failure sw swings and the non swell thing. How to different between this one and this one. And uh, when to show if you have two, two, two black candles or these things. And one more thing that before I, before I get this lecture, I have no idea regarding uh, technical. technical analysis. Very good. So that was very useful for me. OK, good. So you feel that you can do it, right? Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, like the, I learned uh, how to respond to the clients for the panicking one and the one who is greedy and want to enter the market, how to respond to them. Okay. Um, you clarify a lot of uh, technical things that I believe I, I knew before, which uh, I don't. Um, now I'm uh, ready, I think, a little bit to use it. Okay. Yeah. You feel confident? I feel. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I think uh, by far, this is probably the most valuable uh, course that I've done in a very long time. Um, it relates to my job directly. I can go upstairs right now and punch in stuff and make sense of it. So, um, yeah, it relates to my job directly. And I think all together, I mean, there's too many things to mention, but everything is uh, it's very useful. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.